If you clean carbon off a gun, you can clean spray paint off a gun. You can keep doing it over and over again. Have fun. Do the prep, do the taping. Just spray and play. <laughs> You saw them hanging there, FDE to some camo action. Getting right to it, triggers and barrels. Triggers and barrels have to be taped off. You gotta plug these masking tape, cotton swabs, a whole bunch of options to take care of that. And your optics, mobile areas, adjustment dials, you get what I'm saying. Make sure you tape them off. You can always go back to the optics and go full camo if you want to. You can see the difference here on the Viper PST. I did not go back and dab over and you can see the clear cut housing on the 10 mile that is retouched after the fact, after taping to get rid of that entire black silhouette. And it's just dabbed on, it'll come off the same, but like I said, the caps can stay on if you want them to, leave them off. It's really all preference on how you're gonna do this. But if you have a mid-tier rifle and up and the upper and lower is pretty tight, you don't have to take out the BCG and the charge handle. If you do, that's when you can roll up a microfiber and plug off the chamber with a, a few different options. But realistically, uh, never had an issue. And if you have the BCG and the inside's well-oiled, all you gotta do is gonna catch some of that fallout from the, uh, the spray anyways. So same thing goes with uh, anything that you're putting on, uh, the ends, the tips. I would not spray any type of uh, suppressor silencer, but the muzzle brakes or compensators, you can see that the one on the AR-15 is done. This is left free and that's just masked off with tape. Different effect, different vibe every time you do it. And of course the furniture is up to you. If you do the furniture, it kind of sells the whole look depending on what you're doing. A must do is the butt pad. Do them, you paint over them with any type, whether it's FDE, dark black, it's gonna flake super quick. So it's an easy masking tape job on there. And everything else is up to you. Forward assist, I like to do, but I don't worry about the bolt catch release or the mag release button. It just, you spray, and then when it's done drying, uh, you bang on those 50 times each, it's gonna be fine. There should have been nothing that's gonna cause a huge issue. And then the amount of stress that comes out of people spray painting and doing springs, and don't get caught up on the springs on the dust shield. Same thing, you charge, you rack it a few times. Everything's functional, it's gonna look super good. Snap them, safety levers, gonna rock just fine. All this stuff, if it does catch, you get a little bit dry and you don't move it. After painting, it's not gonna be an issue. Everything is going to move and click in place just fine. You're always just using a little bit of spray paint, guys. Don't stress it. Everything's mobile. Everything works. Well, this one's not ambi. That one's ambi. But here, I'll show you the difference between a optic that just got the tape job and then the optic that gets dabbed over after the fact. The 10 mile got touched up after the tape job. Use a little bit of dabbing to break up that hard line. Up here, not gonna dab, not worth the effort. It's not stressing the uh, little details. It's all up to you. This dial, untouched. Check out that text. Check out the depth, the effect on that. Good, just break it up. And the charging handles, a yes or no, it doesn't matter. Didn't tape this one off, tape that one off. It's up to you. Pick the scheme. If it works for you, if you have an ambi charge handle, remember, these are really easy to strip and reset too. They come right out. 
You can clean them off if you want to, if you don't like it, if it seemed uh, kind of cruddy. The rifles are gonna turn out just fine if you take the extra time to do the masking tape and the prep work. And it's not that crazy of prep work. That just means hit it with a rag, get some sort of solvent on there, anything, anything you want. Just get that oil, drip it off there. And take the time to tape, make the lines nice, do what you need to do. And then this is only glossy right here because of the oil, the gun's cleaned and oiled, ready to go. But if I clean that, that'd be a matte finish. You can see. You see once that uh, goes on and dries, it's gonna act just like your rifle was before. Oil is going to seep out in the areas that it does. It's not going to really mess up your paint job. And the oil actually makes it uh, look pretty good depending on the scheme that you're going with. So. Environments, this is a fun one that I decided to do and show, but are they always going to turn out the way you want? Definitely not. The army green that I use in there, I prefer It'd be less green, but I use green on the majority of the rifle and an undercoat. I could segment the green so that all areas when rubbed would not have a layer of green. You can get advanced with how you layer up spray painting and the effect. If that is just extra in your book, then let it be extra because you can take the black, the brown, FDE, hit it with the salt strikes. You can see that light area underneath the safety. Yeah, that's because I hit it with the brown streak and then I uh, just don't stress it because when you're in fire, it's even. Go back and touch it up. You can't, don't stress the small details when you're doing this good. The major thing when you do these paint jobs with the spray and rattle can, stay away from the matte finishes. It's gonna wear down anyways in that matte finish going to take away from the effect that you wanted and two without the proper backdrop this is being on the gun the gun bags and the carrying devices it's not going to show what it would look like outside in natural lighting whether that's dust dawn lighting will make all the difference and that's why the burnt bronze underneath goes so hard with this and all the lighting. This rifle and these FDEs. These FDEs will reflect paint, obviously being a lighter color and absorb where the dark is a lot differently based on lighting. If it doesn't turn out the way you want it to or it's not, the, it's not actually camo the way you want it to, just test it out strip it off and redo it.